Hi, I'm Candice from the University of Queensland. This video includes a brief overview of the iPad activities, as well as some suggestions and important information about guiding your child through these activities. The iPad activities are part of the Early Years Toolbox, developed by Australian researchers at the University of Wollongong. Completing these activities will help us to understand more about children's learning and development. There are five iPad activities to complete. These activities do not need to be completed in one session. We suggest completing two or three of the activities, then having a break or coming back at another time. Doing this may reduce the possibility of your child getting tired or restless. The activities are designed to be game-like and easy to play with instructions and feedback included within each game. Although the iPad games are designed to guide your child through the activities, you have an important role too. We need your help to ensure that your child remains focused and motivated to play the game to the end and to the best of their ability. To do this, we ask that you sit with your child so that they are not alone when they are completing the iPad activities. We want to see what your child can do and capture their best possible independent performance. So please be careful not to help your child pick an answer or indicate if their answer is correct. Instead, you may wish to offer them general encouragement when they are playing the game. For example, you may wish to comment on how well they are working and that they are trying their best. The instructions provided in the booklet show you how to download each game for free on your iPad and how to set up the activities before you start playing them. It's important that you follow these instructions carefully as this will ensure that the information can be successfully uploaded and received by the research team. When you open up one of the apps on your iPad, you will see the app's home screen. You will need to enter specific information on the home screen of each app. The information to enter is outlined in the setup section of your instructional booklet. We ask that you please take care in entering this information to ensure that your child's activities can be correctly linked to your child. Please ensure that your iPad's volume is on full or set to an appropriate level so that you and your child can hear the instructions and feedback. We suggest finding a quiet space with as little distraction as possible to complete the activities. It is best to place the iPad on a table directly in front of your child. You may wish to prop the iPad up on the iPad stand if you have one and if that's easier for your child. Included in your instructional booklet is a game tracker that you and your child can use to keep track of the games that they have completed. This is an optional tool that you can use. Please review your booklet for more information about the game tracker. Before you begin the activities, please introduce the activities to your child. For example, you may wish to explain to your child that they will play five games and that these games will help researchers at the University of Queensland understand more about children's learning and development. Once all the apps are downloaded and set up as per the instructions provided in your booklet, you're ready to begin. Please do not turn off the iPad or completely shut down the app at any point during your session. This will erase the settings and mean you will need to re-enter these. If you choose to start the activities at another time or have a break between activities, we suggest minimising the app on your iPad so that you can return later. If you open the app and see your personalised information on the app's home screen, then you can press start when you're ready to begin. If your personalised information has been erased, then you will need to follow the instructions for setting up the app again before you start the game. Sometimes children will start an activity and then lose interest and may want to do something else. If this happens, we find it helpful to emphasise to your child that they are doing well and to encourage them to finish the task. For example, you could say, you are doing so well, can you show me again how well you can do that? Just remember not to help your child with the activities by providing any answers, giving any hints or saying or doing anything that could suggest the correct answer. If your child doesn't want to complete the task, even with encouragement, that's no problems at all. Please end the activity and try another one at another time. We recommend that the iPad is connected to the internet while open and in use. However, if this is not possible, please refer to the booklet for steps on what to do after completing the activities. This is to ensure the data from the game can be uploaded to the database. Thank you for your participation and for completing the iPad activities. You will be sent a notification to confirm that we received your game data. Please do not delete the apps until you have received this notification. We are very appreciative of you and your child's time and continued participation in the study. If you need another instructional booklet or have any questions or concerns, please contact our research team.